Hey everybody, welcome back to my Minecraft playthrough. Uh, this is my second playthrough, and I am doing creative build of an amusement park. Uh, first episode, we looked around the spawn area to see what we had to work with, and then last episode, a bit longer, we uh, made uh, this. My, my uh, 3D model rendition of my 8 byte, 8, 8 bit sprite of my head. Um, if you're at my YouTube channel, you can see this in my little window of my icon for the channel, but it looks up, it looks pretty good. And so the next thing I wanted to do is the sign behind it. So I, I spent a lot of time playing with some ideas of how I want to look and kind of mapping this out to make it look how I want it to be. And I think this should work. And I want it to be really eye-catching. So I am going to use glowstone. I'm going to cover the whole thing glowstone. I'm going to build off of it with some letters. And I'm going to have a stand back down here. So you can like look up and I'll look really cool from this spot. So you got my, my giant head, and then it's going to say Tommy Town with a glowing background, and hopefully it all looks good. As you can see in my materials, these are what I'm going to use for now. I can always change things, but I... Oop, wrong button. I always do that. I always do that. Let's see. Let's fill that in, and go back to glowstone. <laughs> so, a lot of glowstone laying. Going to try to match up this shape. I... I kind of took away the wall where I wanted it to be, and I think this is a good size and a good shape. You can't see too much above my head, so it's not as exact up in the upper right-hand corner, but for, for what I have so far, I am liking it. it I was trying to go for, um, there's a, a network called Boomerang, which shows old cartoons, like Hannibal Bear stuff, and even some of the earlier Cartoon Network. And I like that shape. It's like a, it's like the letter B, but it's bent to look like a boomerang. And it's just, it's a neat shape. Kind of like an art palette, if you like do oil painting and whatnot. But I tried to copy that shape somewhat. And it, it's not exactly it, of course, but I just wanted to have something more than just a circle, something more than just a square, just you know, kind of have more fun with the shape. And whereas I have glowstone on, glowstone on the inside, I'm going to probably put a trim of black around it. So I'm just kind of following the shape of this, then I'm going to fill it all in. Put on my letters, and step back, and hopefully it all looks looks correct. It should, should look correct, hopefully. <laughs> Nothing ever goes exactly as planned, but I think it's enough that I can work with. So we are going to the bottom right here. And it's funny, the uh, <laughs> the shadow from my head, as you can see, a lot of the mobs like to stay in there because they won't catch on fire. <laughs> so that's the happening hot spot for mobs during the day. Of course, I can light it up and put some torches there to kind of... I don't know. Would torches... Torchers. Would torches keep them away? I don't have a mind. Again, I don't have a problem. I don't have a mind. I don't have a mind. I don't mind them. Don't have a problem with them. In creative, luckily, they don't attack you. But... I, I could have. I could have turned mobs off. Probably, maybe should have. However, they do ride rides. <laughs> Uh, my sample one that I made in my last playlist to kind of lead into this build, uh, I actually had a couple in my backyard, and I went out the one day, and there was a zombie riding the ride. He then caught on fire and died, but I thought it was really funny that he was actually riding my ride. And so the fact that they're here means that maybe they can enjoy the rides when no one else is here. Fun for all. And, and it's neat how, like, the glowstone will work because it's going to have a great glow kind of backlit to the head. Yeah, that's going to look really neat. And then it's going to say, Tommy Town. Of course, I could, like, try to fit amusement park or something else there, but that might be a little, little tricky. 
Consider I'm doing block letters on a limited size. I can make it like chicken scratch, just kind of weird shapes that somewhat resemble the letters. And I originally thought welcome to Tommy Town, but I don't think I have enough room to do that because welcome is a long word and the W is wide. Oh, I could have kept that one. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. And it's nighttime, but since I'm staring at glowstone, it's nice and lit up. Yeah, I, I thought it'd be really cool to do some kind of like marquee where the lights are moving. And there might be some way to do that with redstone. I, I, I've got a book about redstone, trying to learn how things work and what you can do with it. And I haven't gotten very far yet, so I don't know exactly what can be done, but I thought it'd be cool to have that, where like the lights are kind of flashing in and out around the words. So maybe as I get better at this, I can try to do that somewhere, but for right now, just a nice backlit um, glowstone wall, because <laughs> it's... Yeah, looking nice. I was kind of for like a plain texture, and I don't know if anything like that exists in Minecraft. I've seen a lot of things, that can, it can do a lot of things, but I don't know if you have like a plain like glow without this texture. Oop, forgot one. Okay, so, oop, missed one. So after we get this all filled in, we'll take another step back and see how it's looking. Lighting up the night sky. I mean, it, it is a busy texture, but it's not it's not the worst. The colors and everything they'd used for them, it's it's pleasing to the eye. So I'm thinking I can work with it okay. I guess also because there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> so it's gotta work with it. Work with what you got. I mean which also goes with how I so I could venture outside the map to see what else the world looked like, but I just wanted to keep it um, in this location because you get what you get, you get what you get, see what you can do with it. Oh, that's cool. It's almost like almost like a moon shape or a, with the way my hair is like a Pac-Man shape, but that looks pretty cool. And I need to figure out something to illuminate my face too. I, I can put torches on it maybe, but I don't know. Not, not, a, not a necessary thing right now. Um, okay, so I've got this blue concrete. Blue's my favorite color. I love different shades of blue. And so I wanted to try using this. And I think if I start right about here, I want to do five wide for this. So I can come down five from that. Three, four, five. Quick go back here. Try to find my entrance spot, so we're gonna stand here on this. <laughs> the skeleton's like looking at it too. He's like, this is good, cool. Uh, I think I wanna move one more block to the left. I think one more block to the left and up. Up one and left one. The first letter's um, one block bigger height wise than the other ones are. So I can take out this guy here. No, I gotta take all these out. Gotta move it over left one. So it's gonna go over there and there. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, and five. All right, take another step back.
Take a look. I think I like that. That should work out well. There's a lot of space at the top, but maybe I do want to move it up a little bit more. If I bring over the shape on the top, a couple more blocks. Well, here, I know that's, that's the T for Tommy. <laughs> T is for Tommy. Let me see what this will look like when I do the other T below it. So if that's there, if I kind of line it up, we have a couple spaces, two, one, two, three, one, two, two, three, four, five. Quick head back to my spot. TT. <laughs> T. No, I think that'll work. I think that spacing and everything should look okay. So then the O is only four blocks high. And I want to start here, I believe. Yeah, and then it's two here. Another one here. And because the bottom word is town, it has the same exact pattern of T-O. So I can just rolls off, the, rolls off the tongue so nicely. Tommy Town. So we've got two, two. And then the M and the W are the exact same pattern. I just have them flipped. So I'll leave a space there and go one, two, three. Let me do a little Mickey Mouse. And then another three on this side. Like so. Oh my. Let me quick head back here. Make sure you can see it. <laughs> hmm. Needs to be moved a little bit. Because if I do the other M, you can see the other M okay. You can see most of the M. But you won't be able to see the Y at all. So it looks like Tum Town. And I want to move Town over to left also. So let me move those glow, glow, glow blocks. I can't remember what they're called. Glowstone, there we go. Add some more to the left to kind of build up that shape so I can slide the letters over to the left more. When you do big builds like this, it's always good to step back and make sure everything's looking okay. So we're going to go up here, add a couple there, add a couple there. Couple there. One there. Two like that. If I quick just jump back a little bit. I want to add one more I maybe I don't I mean even if I just move it one block over it's not going to be enough so maybe if I go add another couple sets of blocks Take another step back. All right, so we move the Tommy over two blocks and move the town over three. One more above that T. How's that look? One more above the O. All right, I think we'll try this again. 
to move the T over two blocks. So one, two. And move this one over one, two, three. But if I have the T there, I might want to add more. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of guess and check. Now it's pi. <laughs> And hopefully this is enough they can see all the letters. Uh, from that one vantage point, at least. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Another pie. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so let's quick add in our next letters. Again, since they're exactly the same, T-O-T-O. -T -O. And then one, two, three, Mickey Mouse. Oop, too high. Mickey Mouse. One, two, three. And then I think I'm going to keep town where it is. So I think I can lock this one in. Two, three. Upside down, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> And I'll do the N also since I'm here. So it's one, two, three, four. Oop, try. Okay. So we've got town, and town fits there really nicely. So we come back down here. We look up. We can see town. And we see Tom. Slide over this way a little bit more. Um, hmm. I might need to extend that out to the left. Tom Tao. Tom Toe. Tom Tao. <laughs> Gotta get from like the right angle. Which would be like right about here. You can fit, I'm sure, all of it in there. So let me let me finish writing Tommy and see what that looks like. Two, three, Mickey. Nope. One, two, three. And then we can leave a space. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. So there we have Tommy Town. And oh my goodness. I suppose if we go like right here, we can see it. Which is how far up here? Let's see. Tommy Town. It's a little too smushed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we need to do is oblong our shape a little bit more. Our glowstone shape. Again, I like I like where town is at. Town looks good. It fits nicely. You can see it okay. But then if we bring this up here and like kind of just just ever so slightly oblong the shape. Stretch it out to the left a little bit more. B 
bring it up some. Bring this out. Bring this out. Come back down. Change the end location. Or not the end location, sorry. The uh, amount of blocks you can see back here. Okay, that looks like it filled in nicely. I want to bring this down a little bit more. Is one block enough? Yeah. Of course, whereas I said this is a more interesting shape, yes, it's also more complex to get right with the spacing. So uh, I like guess square, much easier. Even a simple oval might do the trick. I just I just wanted a little something extra. Okay, so we're we're looking okay. There, this part needs just a little bit more. I think here. Kind of, but if I do one more there. And again, I think town can stay where it's at, but Tommy needs to slide over right to the edge almost. Let's see what that'll be. One, two. So slide over two more blocks. And hope that that's enough. So there's one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, and my original idea was to put some. Um, light blue glass around the lettering. It does look nice, but I have to see if I do like it for sure. All right, so here is where one, two, three, one, two, three. Skip a space, two, three, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C, -E -E. one, two, three. <laughs> Let's give a space. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, one more letter. <laughs> Skip two spaces because of the way it is lined up. All right, let's see how this Tommy looks. I think that looks a little better. Of course, I'm like right up at eye level with it. How about if we go down? Yes. However, I do want to change one thing. I, I, I want to keep the keep it where it's at but I want to come up over here and bring this part down it's... 
So we're on the ground. We're looking up. We see my giant Muppet head. <laughs> and we can see Tommy Town. I like how the Y kind of fits nicely between the hair and the hat. And I like the way that that top curves down around that part now too. So I, I think I like where that's at. With it all, with it all set up like this, let me quick see what it looks like with the blue glass around it to see if it's something that I do want to in fact keep. And I'm not sure how much I want to, do I want to go corners or do I want to just do outline? I do like it to a degree. It, it adds like a softness around that, around the lettering. But what if instead of doing it that way, it's kind of more down here like all over instead of just outlining the letters maybe and there's one more thing I want to do I want to put a black trimmer on the whole thing to kind of really really sharpen out that edge and make it look nice. And I think I can't decide on the inside until I have that on the outside. This is uh, black concrete, so it's got more of a solid than the wool does. Of course it's nighttime so it's kind of blends in with the night but you can see what it does it just kind of really blocks in there and makes it look nice and sharp so sometimes just like adding this extra little detail is just enough to make it look fancy <laughs> Cover up the dirt behind it, since I took away those glow blocks. Uh, this part you're not really going to see, but I'm going to do it here anyway because it. Uh, it's one of those things where like, yeah you can, no one would ever notice it because of where you're standing and what you see, but just drives you crazy knowing that it's there and it's not, not fully filled in, so that's why you just got to do the whole thing. Exactly, zombie, what you said. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. So now I've got it outlined. So now I've got to decide, do I want to fill in with glass? cover up part of it to look what Tommy or the my town looks like my own looks fine 
cover that side. It's cool. It, it, ah, the glass. What other color? What color? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what other glass colors are there? We've got clear. What about white? Let me just see what white looks like. So I did a lot of blue. Let me take that away. No glowstone. Nope. Too away. <laughs> there we go. So let me quick switch out white for the black wool. And let me just see what some white looks like. I'll just go around the T to see what that looks like without going crazy and going the whole way around. Because it kind of hides the texture too. I know as I was putting the glowstone there, I mentioned the texture. And so if I put a block in front of it, or a glass block, you still get the light, but it also gives it a smoother look. All right, step back. The white is okay. It's not opaque enough. Uh, let's see what other colors we have. So we've got pink, magenta, purple, blue. Light blue is the first one I tried. I'm kind of curious about red. Because red and blue can look nice together. So maybe it will look nice with the glow around it also. And it should be opaque enough that it will cover some of the texture. Because the white, if it was just like a little more cloudy, I think it would look nice. How's that look? No, that doesn't do it either. You know, I've never actually, hold on one sec. I've, I've used blocks of glass before, but never the panes. So let me quick see what a pane of glass looks like compared to what a block of glass. Does it actually show any difference? Adds a nice little border there. Let's see if that actually changes the look at all. Uh, 
Um, 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 to me, it looks like it's a little bit less less opaque, which means you can see more behind it. And that's no, it's not it either. Hmm. I never understand that. I don't push anything yet. I just drop out of the sky. Whoop. All right. You know, after trying these, I think I like the light blue the best. So I'm just going to flood in the uh, light blue glass over the whole thing. Take a step back and hope that I like it. <laughs> Because it is, it is nice. I don't know, it's just the right amount of opaqueness to kind of hide some of those textures when you're far away. And it just adds like a, a soft glow because the letters are in the uh, darker blue. So I think if I just fill in the whole thing, I will like it. And if not, I will leave it until I can figure out what I would like better. <laughs> My amusement park's not even built yet. This is all about curb appeal. Make sure people want to go in there. Wow, look at that sign. We should go check that place out. I'm excited for the rides, too. I... Toying with some ideas about stuff. I want to have, like, a water park in there, too. Working on ideas for how to... Um... You, or utilize what the mechanics are in Minecraft to make some of these rides happen. And it's it's cool. So this first week is probably just going to be a lot of entrance work. Like I said, the castles next, the entrance into the park, the bridge. All that stuff is going to be before I actually work on the park itself. Off camera, I am working on building the park with uh, graph paper. Graph paper in this game go hand in hand so nicely, since it's all grid oriented. And so you can kind of just. Oop, nope, wrong way. Oh, good, bark, bark, bark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take a little step back. Yeah, I think I think that'll work. It's not that like bright glowstone color. It's just this nice Again, everyone's color preferences are different. I've always liked blues. So seeing this kind of blue is calming to me and just kind of not as crazy as the background there. So if you guys ever make your own signs, play with colors, play with what you like, play with what works. I've been playing a lot of Mario Maker lately too, and when you build levels, you can easily just like copy things and paste them and fill in big apps at, at a time. It's a bit more tedious with Minecraft. <laughs> Gotta place every single block. Almost halfway done though. We've got almost all of Tommy covered up with the, <laughs> with the blue glass.
Nope. Let's finish off this side since we can't even see it from where we're vantage point is to see the whole lettering. Nope. 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 <laughs> so there we go. And... Oh, so close. <laughs> and I do apologize. I don't have the software yet to edit these videos down. Hopefully I can get them, get, or get it rather, in the next month or so. And then I can actually edit these down, so I <laughs> hope you're enjoying all the block placing in real time. But we're almost finished. Here is the W. Oh yeah, we're super almost finished, cool. Of course, it's daytime, so we can't get the full effect of it, but it needs, I'm not saying it needs it right now, but I just feel the space above the two M's could use like a little, a little something. If we head on over, we can see. Just gotta fit that Y right in between the hat and the hair. Uh, but we've got a nice little sign going on. I'm not sure what to do about below it. I might take out all of that. I might do something else down there. I don't know exactly what to do down there yet. So, question mark. <laughs> um, but we're, we're, we're looking good over here on this side. I like that. Got to clean up some of the stuff behind it. And then over here is going to be the castle. And like I said, I think I think I mentioned in this episode or last episode, it's going to be like an actual castle house. There's going to be buildings, floors, um, different rooms. I want to make like an actual castle. And then this is the entrance to the park. Walk through that little tunnel. Come out here cross over the bridge and then this will be the whole park area so we're still working on our front it's looking nicely I like how clean this looks this was very messy and a lot of trees and long grass so I'm glad I cleaned that up and then we've got this neat little sign with my big Muppet face and my pixely look Tommy town something's gonna go up there I'm not sure what yet um, so yeah, this episode was the sign. Pretty pleased with how it turned out. Still gotta figure out one little detail, but otherwise I'm happy with it. And the blue glass does help. It's not as, like, punch in the face glowstone. <laughs> and where's the sun at right now? Oh, perfect. It's about to set. So as it's setting, nighttime's gonna come in. So I'm going to wait a smidge longer before I close this episode so we can see it at nighttime to get its full effect. Um, yeah. Cool stuff. This game is amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But we've got our sign. We've got our head. Slowly but surely we are building up Tommy Town Amusement Park. Here comes the sun. Or rather, the moon, sun is setting, moon is coming up. 
Wait till we can see the stars in the sky. I like how you can see the glow on the on the rock wall and the ground behind it too. Just looks nice. Very, very cool. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of my Minecraft playthrough, creative mode, building an amusement park, Tommy Town Amusement Park. Um, thank you guys for watching. Next time we'll be working more so on the left side of the sign. When, you, when the next time you see this, there might be a completely different bottom underneath where the sign is. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye.